Hello everyone! Today, I will be showing you how to perform the electrolysis of a salt solution. But first, what is electrolysis? Electrolysis is a process that uses electricity to separate an ionic compound to form elements. Electrolysis separates the hydrogen and oxygen in water, but water alone is a poor conductor of electricity, so we need to add salt to convert it into an electrolyte solution and thus able to conduct electricity. To perform our electrolysis experiment, I will be using the electrolysis apparatus provided to us by DEPED. It includes a large beaker, two test tubes, a glass portion containing the electrodes, connectors with alligator clips, an external voltage source, and a 9 volts battery holder. However, in this experiment, we will be using the external voltage source. To start with, let us fill about two-thirds of the beaker with our salt solution. Then fill up the two test tubes with the same solution, but make sure that there is little to no air bubble at the top. Next, connect the cathode and anode terminals to the alligator clips attached to the power supply. Make sure that you are attaching to the correct colors. The cathode is the black terminal and is the negative electrode, while the red one is the anode and is the positive electrode. Step 4. Plug the power source and set the voltage to 9 volts. Now the waiting game starts. Observe what happens to the column of air inside the test tubes. I have sped up the videos because it took me more than an hour to observe a large column of air. You may also increase the voltage to 12 volts if you think that the process is taking a longer time. The volume of gas increases through time on both test tubes. Here we have the setup after 30 minutes. 
and we can see that there is now a significant change in the volume of gas on the left side connected to the cathode. One hour and 30 minutes later, a column of air on a cathode is around 15 ml. Once we have a significant amount of gas, unplug the power source and test the gases. In this setup, we know that both hydrogen and chlorine gases are formed but we need to identify which is which. Fortunately, theory tells us that the gas on the cathode is hydrogen, but we need to test its presence using flame, which gives us a popping sound. Remember, be careful when doing this part of the experiment and make sure you are holding the test tube far from you. Here, I failed in my first try, but succeeded in my second. Yay! The popping sound proves the presence of hydrogen gas. The other gas is chlorine, which is a poisonous gas, so don't inhale it. Instead, we can detect its presence using a universal test paper, which will be bleached after placing it into the other test tube. That's all for electrolysis. Thanks for watching!